This is Emily from Cooking Planet, and I am at my friend Erica's house. We are cooking a meal with Cooking Planet, and um, I let Erica pick the meal, and she's basically decided she wants to cook everything herself, so I'm just observing, but we're going to ask her a couple questions about her cooking experience, and um, she just started cooking with Cooking Planet recently, uh, so it's kind of cool to see her picking up a few tips here and there. So, hi Erica. Hi. <laughs> what are you working on? The... Korean style skirt steak. So tell us about, you're obviously, you've been a professional woman, you've had your career. Yes. What's happening, what's coming up this year that's different for you? I am becoming a stay-at-home mom. Nice. For the first time ever. That's exciting. How old are your daughters? I have a six-year-old going into first grade, and I have a baby who just turned one. And so what about, what's one of your goals that you've told me for this year? So, I'm looking to be a more well-rounded person. I feel as a professional, I spend a ton of time at work, thinking about work, and only doing work. So, I want to be someone that, you know, knows how to cook, maybe can play an instrument, things like that. So, this fall, my first goal is to learn how to cook. So, and what what's your experience with cooking so far? Like, I mean, growing up, like, what, what role has food played in your life and your family? And Well, my mom would tell you that she's not a great cook. She always had dinner on the table when she could, uh, but it was, it was, you know, easy, simple recipes, and I, I never, she never seemed like she was enjoying it. I never liked to be in the kitchen with her, so I never really learned. So you've worked with Cooking Planet a couple times now, yeah? Yes. This is my third recipe. What do you, what have you found so far is helpful about it? The step-by-step -step instructions are exactly what I need because I am clueless and even to the point where I don't even know how to chop things correctly. So there's instructions even like how to do things in here that I would never know. I really just, when you look at a recipe on a website and it's just a recipe, it just says to do these things and you have no clue how to do them. Um, okay, so tonight you cooked for us. You made me a meal, which I loved and you cooked with Cooking Planet for like the third time now. Uh, so I'm just curious, like what is what are some of the things that keep surprising you about working with Cooking Planet? What surprises me, what continues to surprise me about Cooking Planet is that I can actually cook a meal. <laughs> so that is different than normal <laughs> without burning it or anything. Uh, smoke alarms are not going off <laughs> like they used to. Um, things like that. But yeah, so overall, just being able to actually do it and find success myself has been surprising, but specifically about the website, what has continued to surprise me is how easy it is for someone like me to actually be able to follow the steps. Like what would you say was the most, the part of cooking that you despised the most, that you just had no fun with and it would kind of deter you from even bothering? Well, there are a few things that I despised and currently still struggle with. Um, one is not knowing maybe an, a name of something or vocabulary or definition. Um, like, for example, shallot. I didn't know what a shallot was until last week. So when you look at a recipe and you just see, you know, four shallots, I would just flip to a new internet recipe because I'm like, I don't know what the heck a shallot is. We're moving on. I don't have time for that crap. Whereas, like, you know, now I feel like, okay, I you know, I kind of know what a shallot is, which is pretty cool. And you talked about earlier the four cheese stuffed mushrooms. So sort of an interesting combination. We have the stuffed <laughs> mushrooms, which is Italian sort of, and then the skirt steak, which is, as you mentioned, like Asian. So kind of a weird pairing. But you specifically picked the mushrooms because that's one of your kind of favorite special restaurant meal, like, or mm -hmm. appetizer things to go to. So how did it feel when you were able to, like, make your own stuffed mushrooms? It was fun to sit at, you know, at my table and know that I made it. And I don't know, there's just a, a gratification about it that you wouldn't expect. You know, I just, I never thought I would get gratification from that. And you do, and you see your husband eating it and your friends eating it and your children eating it. And it's neat that you don't have to pay a million dollars at some upscale restaurant to have that, you know, to have an awesome mushroom. And I get to sit there and feel great about it because I know I made it. So it's a great feeling. <laughs> Thank you for cooking with Cooking Planet. Yeah. Thank you for sharing your experience with us. Sure. It's fun. And, it's awesome. Um, we and can't it's wait. Free. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs>
Oh, good one. Yeah, it is three. <laughs>